Hey guys, and if so, I say welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. I'm down in this hole, Lydia's just followed me up. We've just learnt a new word of power down in that thing down there. I'm going to dutifully level up. I knew I said last time I could do with a bit more stamina, so I could run a bit faster and stuff like that, or a bit further. I'm not entirely sure what to get next. You can see these blue or purple stars mean there's nothing you can get, or you can't get that particular skill yet. Blue ones mean there is something you can get, so I'm not entirely sure. Heavy armor. I'm wearing quite a bit of heavy armor, I think. Or I intend to wear heavy armor. I'm not going to do it too lot, too much blocking. One-handed, what's this skill here? Fighting stance. Power attacks with one-handed weapons cost 25% less stamina. I'm not using a lot of power attacks at the moment. I probably should. Let's boost my heavy armor some then. What's this do? Increases armor rating for heavy armor by 20%. Juggernaut perk. Let's do that. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's other stuff in here that I have yet to find. Like whatever that is down there. I don't know how I don't even know how I'd get down there. But there does appear to be quite a lot of cool stuff around in here that I have yet to find. So I'm kind of just wandering blind at the moment. I do plan on going back and having a little look around and see if see what I've missed and things. This looks empty-ish up here, apart from this skeleton guy. Who is uh, fairly easily taken care of. What have we got in these burial urns? Potions and more potions. I really like wandering around in these dungeons. It's really nice. I don't know what is... How did I get up here? Ah, there. I don't know what's so nice about it. I think it's the fact that you can actually... F it almost feels like you really are in a dungeon and the attacks and things are quite nice. That's a picture of a dragon. It's another dragon. Ah, oh, he's... oh. Uh, ah! 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 I know what I have to do. I'm guessing... Have I got the right to shout? I need my whirlwind sprint. Come over here, Lydia, out of the way. Need to run down here, open the gates, and then foose my way through. Because uh, that bloke did say it was going to be a bit of a challenge or something, so. There we go. And, um, oh, all the gates have opened. Excellent. On our way. The guy did say I'd have to use my. You've got a d bad feeling. Yeah, there's desiccated corpses on the floor and spider webs. A lot of spider webs. I'm surprised you've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, right. These are pressure plates. Um, Lydia, careful. Careful where you step, Lydia. I don't know what these pressure plates do. Oh my! Whoa! That's what they do. Okie doke. So we've got some pretty mean. Oh! Spiders coming out the walls, cooking themselves. Right. Is this gonna. Yes, that's gonna set me on fire. Okay, I'll. Okay, screw looting those things. Um, right, so we somehow need to get across here. And um, those spiders are kind of just like all flaming things up over there. Uh, let's leap over to here. Lydia's going to be stuck there. She's going to just set herself on fire all the way around here. Okay. Um, don't step on the floor or the cracks because you'll fall and burn your your ass. So it looks like it's safe up here. Apart from these small spiders and stuff. The little frostbite spider things. Oh! Oh! God. Um, there's a big mommy spider over there. Pack you down. There we go. I don't know what that was. I think I was just about to do a really awesome attack on it and she shot an arrow into it. Is that everything done? Egg sacks with some spider eggs in them. No loot, no cool loot around. Never mind. Looks like we've got to hack our way through here somehow. Through these spider webs. 
Very dark. Oh, there's a door. Right, okay. Um, a pool chain. Which opens this thing. This. I've never seen anything quite like that. Neither have I. Whoa! What the hell are they? They're like some. You got a mouth and an eye. I'm a bit nervous, you know. These things are gonna be attacking me. Oh, this is weird. Okay, we've got the zombies. Once again, zombies. Looks like they've already been defeated, though. Okay. So, um, what's in these burial urns? Silver amethyst ring. Minor magicka. And a mysterious note. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you, urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you. Oh, damn it. Okay, so someone's come here, someone's beaten us to this place. They've taken the horn, from the looks of it. And now they're they're holding it to ransom. They want to meet with me. Well, that, that's just harsh. What have we got? Any anything in these burial urns? Use all the gold I can muster right now. Whoever came through here before obviously didn't come back through this way. They probably went back the way they came. They didn't realise that Bethesda usually gives you a nice way out if you um, spend ages getting into a place. Because they didn't loot any of this unless they had more morals than I do. This is a big chest, what we got in here? Gold, lockpick, paste, stole gem, steel helmet, hide armor. Okay. So, this hopefully leads us back to somewhere earlier in the cave where it's, it's quite easy to get out again. At the moment, it's just a tunnel. Open to Ustengrav. So we have to go meet someone. Rent an attic room. That's probably code, so that they they know that we're going to be there and they'll meet us whilst we're sleeping or something. Let's pull this lever. There we go. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the secret exit that I thought I'd be heading through. Um, before I leave though, as I said before, I, I, I do want to have a look at my map and just see if there's anywhere I missed. Although it doesn't look like it. I didn't find that guy's um, sword or anything. That guy's got a sword sticking through their head. I um, guess the best course of action for me is just to leave now. Since there just doesn't seem to be anything else left in here. There was that one chest I couldn't get at, but I haven't got a clue how I'd get to that chest. So that's just going to have to stay there. Maybe I'll come back and loot it another day. Maybe one of you guys know how to get to it. I can always come back and pick it up off screen. Um, no idea what that sword thing was all about. I don't know if I read a book in there. Actually, I'm guessing I did. Let's just, let me just have a quick look at these books. Um, the Legend of Red Eagle. I'm guessing it says it, his sword is in here somewhere. I uh, really don't want to read all that. So, we need to go all the way over here. I'm kind of getting lost in this map now. Right, here we go. This is where I want to be. Um, yeah, so we need to go to Riverwood. Back to Riverwood. All the way back to Riverwood. We've, we've failed to find the horn. Someone else beat us to it. That's gutting, that is. I wonder how long it's been since they've been there. Well, you know, if we were a bit quicker, we could have caught them. With their hand in the pickle jar. Sweetie jar, cookie jar. Whatever jar. An AA jar. And kind of captured them. Someone tanning a hide. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Oh, not bad. I'm going to just quickly head to the trader. Sell any of the rubbish I've got on me. The gems and stuff and the that one magic book I'm not going to It's really great we're friends. Um I was hoping to find some way to thank you. I hope this does the trick. I wanted you to have this. Kolb and the dragon. A token of my affection. Don't mean we're engaged or nothing. Well, thank you. So they've given me a cool book. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. No problem. Take a look. I'm going to sell you some of my rubbish, if you'll let me. 
Um, have I got any weapons I can sell? Sell these Nord arrows that got shot into me. Um, some steel arrows there. Necromancer robes, so I'm going to use those, I think. Silver amethyst ring, I'll sell that. No, I'm not just going to sell those anyway, wasn't I right? Potions, keep all my potions. Scrolls, keep those. Food, keep them. Ingredients, keep those. Books. Um, spell tome raises on me. There we go. And Kolb and the Dragon. It's a nice book they've given me. Thank you very much. Sell these gems. Keep the bear pelt. Butterfly in a jar. Sell that. Um, ingots, dragon bones, garnet. And more garnets to sell. Two tankards, which I randomly picked up, and seven wolf pelts. Sell all of those, thank you. So I'm quite rich now. Got uh, just over 2,000 gold. Time. So I need to go to the the inn, the one with the giant on the little sign. Should be this one. And uh, rent the attic room. Mm. Nothing? Sorry. <laughs> Being accused of something it was very questioning. Hmm, that guy gave me Embry. So, um, who do I talk to to get an attic room? Delphi that visitor, ben Delphine. I recognise that name. Hello. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. You don't have an attic room. Oh. Am I in the wrong place? Um, oh, complimentary? No. i will be stealing if I took that. It's a shame. Right. So. You're coming to give me room service? Tell me I can drink this so mead. you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. Yes, I'm the dragonborn. I think you're looking for this. <gasps> the horn! We need to talk. Thank you. Follow yes. Me. Okay. Well, come on, Lydia. We're following Delphine. I, I recognise that name from somewhere. So we've got the horn now. So we're going to follow her. Well, I'm going to, you know, be very mean and why did you take the horn and stuff like this? You know, if she doesn't offer me any answers and things. Close the door. Excuse me, Lydia. Now we can talk. Whoa! There's a door in the back of your wardrobe. Come on, Lydia. Let's go to Narnia. Is it? This isn't Narnia. You've tricked me. Where are we? This looks like a training room or something. Secret basement. So you wanted to talk to me. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I think I am. So, um, why did you take the take horn? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Yeah, who are you? What's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. The Thalmor? Um... Well, anyway, I, I just came here for the horn, really, I suppose. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Well, if you're trying to help me, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I am Dragonborn. Get I'm over it. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Looking for me? Well, someone like you, for a very long time. Okay. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Well, you can trust me. Um, so, why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. Right. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Oh. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? I assume so. That's how I first learned about it. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Right. How am I going to prove it to you? So what are you not telling dragons me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. Eh? They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. So they were dead, not just now gone. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Necromancers. So, what makes you think the dragons are actually coming back to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty, and I figured out where the next one will come back to life. Really? We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. You know how crazy that sounds? 
A few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. That's where I know you from. You're that bloke, aren't you? Where are we headed? You're that bloke. You're not that bloke. You're that woman. You were with Felgar in uh, Whiterun. You were his a assistant or his colleague or whatever. His acquaintance. That's who you are. Delphine, I remember you now. So where are we headed? Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. Okay. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's go kill a dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. Okay. Traveling gear. Wonder what our traveling gear looks like, Lydia. Hope it's not a, another barmaid Let's outfit. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. Yep. Just add a hood and that's exactly what you looked like before. Um, come on, Lydia. Move out of the way for the old woman. We're trying to get to Kynesgrove to kill a dragon. People are not going to wonder, you know, she walked into here looking like a bartender and then she's going to walk out dressed like that. I think people are going to get suspicious. Do you want to close the secret door? Jesus, come on, Lydia, get I'm out of there. I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Close that damn thing before people right. wander in. Happy trails. See you later, Ognar. We're off. I'm stealing your lovely bartender, innkeeper lady. We're off to kill a dragon. But, shh, it's a secret. Right, so. We'll be heading off then, Kinds I guess. Is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. I think we should split up and meet there, because... I'm not walking all the way. I guess it's miles away. How far away is it? Oh my god, it's all the way over there! Kynesgrove, that is a long way away. I'm definitely making my own way there. Oh, Windhelm. So, I'm going to use the stables. The White Run stables. Fast travel, or get a, a cart, a silt rider to uh, Windhelm. Make my way into Kynesgrove. Kill a dragon, you know, as you do. It's my day off, you know, might as well go kill a dragon. So, <laughs> till then, I'll see you soon. Take care. And if someone steals your horn, just, just meet in an inn and ask for a room that doesn't exist. I'm sure you'll find out what's going on. Then just go kill a dragon and... I don't know if that'll actually work in real life. Why am I even... Oh, I'm, I'm going to shut up. Um, take care. I'll see you soon, guys.